Well, it's a beautiful, misty, kind of foggy morning here at the southern terminus of the Pacific Crest Trail. I can't believe it. It's ridiculous. This terminus up there with a whole bunch of people. So this is for all you guys who think that the desert section is nothing but ugly dirt all the time. Look at that. It's quite pleasant. So, the sun came out. Yep. Pretty warm. Trying out my umbrella. It's nice, but it's just kind of awkward. But I have a feeling I'll get used to it in the next 700 miles or so. <laughs> Man, I'm crazy. Well, I'm about halfway done with my first day. And I'm tired. So I give my feet a rest and uh, eat a little more lunch. So yeah, bye. So, just walking along, I came to this nice little rest spot, and this is what I found here. Somebody left this half-sized machete here. Because they're like, there ain't no way this is making it all the way to Canada. It weighs like almost a pound. Not worth it. That's where it's gonna stay until somebody crazy enough to take it picks it up. But, uh, you don't need big stuff like that. Try to carve as much weight off as you can. It's been pretty good so far. Tough. I'd be lying to say it's not tough. And that I'm not really tired. Uh, down towards Hauser Creek in the canyon, which is down there. And um, it's that big hill right there. On the other side of that is Lake Marina. So all I gotta do is another five miles down this canyon and up the other side. And then I'm done for the day, which will be nice. I'm that close. I'm up over the crest of this hill, and then I'll be done. This hill is just kicking my butt. So getting a whole deep breath is kind of hard. been taking it easy. Oh, there it is. Stinking Lake Marina. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to my sleeping pad. It's the very beginning of day two. Because I feel pretty dang good. Alright, honesty time. This is really nice. Like today, the temperature is perfect. The trail has been pretty flat. And, uh, I feel good. Look where I am. Under a highway. Uh, but this is pretty cool. So, that's still Highway 8 over there, or Interstate, I don't even know. But this is my first spotting of an actual real creek on the Pacific Crest Trail so far. That's Kitchen Creek, and we're at mile 28 and a half, 29. So, so far water hasn't been any big deal at all. Just pack it all in for day one, because you won't find any. And, uh, but today I've run into across two campgrounds with water in them and now this creek so not too shabby peaceful out here all right it's the start of day three yes and camp by long canyon creek ford last night at mile 38-ish, so that was 18 miles yesterday, not bad. I've got some blister development happening on both of my heels. So I cleaned the feet, put some band-aids on, 
hopefully trying to just, I don't know, help. <laughs> but it'll probably just be really big bad blisters by the end of today. I don't know how many miles I'll get in today, considering the fact that I've got some blisters developing. I was hoping for maybe 21. <laughs> I dream big. <laughs> So refreshing the sight of pine trees. Still got 660 miles of desert to go through, but this is a peaceful reminder of the forest. Yesterday was pretty good, but getting some blisters. But I am so glad that I'm out here. Looks like the trail just kind of goes out around that peak, maybe. Maybe not. I have to check the map or just walk and find out. But it is so cool out here. It's not that hot yet. Sitting pretty at about 10 o'clock. Just amazing. I am glad to be out here. For sure. Hey, so I'm at mile 53 and I just got some cell service and checked in with the family and that was nice. Um, it's been a good long day. I'm aiming for six more miles today. It's only uh, two o'clock. So I got plenty of time. It's been really nice. Get a load of this view. trail. 21 miles. And I am real tired. Real tired. Yes. Looking forward to beef ramen and jerky. Thank you, Sarah Jow, for the jerky. Thank you, Pastor Jordan, for my freeze-dried ice cream bar. Just got started here this morning, day four, and uh, I camped over the road there with like 10 to 15 other through hikers, all at um, Sunrise Trailhead. There's like this horse water trough there, and uh, really green, kind of nasty, but it's the most reliable water for the next. 18 miles, so load it up and uh, slept 
there. It was kind of fun to hang out with some of them for a bit. Yesterday was definitely a long day. Today I'll only do... It's 18 to Scissors Crossings, so... Probably won't be going much further than that. Alright, so... Here's the trail. I'm coming down off that. Oh, look! Got somebody behind me. And, uh... Goes all the way along there. Down into Julian today. Heading down into that valley there. We're right along the far edge. You can see 78, which is the road that takes you to Julian. Alright, moment of truth. This is really frustrating. See that down there? That's the road we've been paralleling for. The trail finally does go out towards the road. <sighs> this is a nice spot. Look at that fire pit. Hope the rock doesn't fall on me. <sighs> Sometimes PCT makes you wonder, like, why didn't we just take that ridge line over there that's green and beautiful and full of trees? and heading straight towards Julian, which is where I want to go anyway, instead of making us hike 10 miles in the desert up and down these hills until we get here and then hitch a ride back. I don't know. So we were on that ridge line just further north or south, I mean. We were camping there last night. Sometimes it can be taxing to go in and count and phrase. Oh, here we go, Pop Tarts. I don't need any, but you guys might. Anyway, they got lots of good, good food here, so I'm gonna go chop. Bye. So this is Julian. The uh, Market and Deli's right there. That's where I just got some food. It's a really great town. The only problem is I got here a little bit late. So it's past five. The library's closed. All the rooms are taken. There's two motels here. Hotels. Well, one hotel and a lodge. So I'm a little bit out of luck. But there is another one a couple miles down the road that's a little bit more expensive. So I'm actually going to end up trying to hitch to go there. Um, see you guys later. Um, made it to the end. So, my first hotel and resupply town on trail. And what have I learned so far on trail? Definitely you want to drink lots of water. The water report is the most important thing. Um, oh. You don't need to bring a whole lot of stuff. I saw that machete and um, hiker boxes were probably full of a bunch of stuff. I didn't even bother to look because I didn't need anything else. So my setup is basically proven effective. There's a lot of people with way less stuff than me though. Much lighter weight and that's ideal. But you do what you can with what you got. So that's where I am. Um, looking forward to a shower tonight. And um, I'll see y'all later on down the trail. Bye.